that's my filter and my fucking sound. And I was like, wait a sec. And then I was going to comment, but then I realized your comments were off. So I was like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> so I thought when I you turned my comments back on. I turned what? my comments back on earlier. What do you mean what happened to my fiance? What are you talking about? What do you mean what happened what? to her? What? They're talking. They said, Logan, what happened to your fiance? What? Fian- Get- what? Matching tats. Yes. How many tattoos do I have? Uh, Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is my part two video for everything about Leslie. I know you can't wait, it's gonna be a good one, so buckle up and get ready for this ride. Here's a good one. It is her neighbor coming over asking her what she's doing and telling her that she still looks kinda big. Mm. Girl, you're, you're still getting kind of big. You ain't losing no weight. What are you trying to do now? It ain't none of my business. You know what? Poor Leslie. I kind of feel bad because it's not very polite to make remarks about somebody's weight. But, at the same time, Neighbor does have a point. She she is a larger human, that's okay. But, still, it's funny that he felt the need to come over and tell her that. So her nice little TikTok was, love the way you lie, and the comments were pretty good. Blaze says, I love the way you lie. Uh, lots of likes on that one. Lily says, no words. High and Horny says, Mima needs to take your phone away, Leslie. And Real Wizard Not Clickbait says, how do you know what it feels like when he probably lives 400 miles away and it's only been a day? <laughs> this is good stuff. Uh, you know, so the backstory of Logan is... He is one of the many, 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 many trolls that gets with Leslie playing mind games. I don't think it's right to do that, but whatever. It's very funny to watch the downfall of it all. Whew! And you saw the very first clip of this video. That's Logan. He has a fiance. And no, it is not Leslie. Didn't she post something like five hours ago that she was so in love with Logan? That relationship lasted not even 24 hours, and she's already broken up with him to get back with her ex. I'm so confused. I'm done. Like, I'm leaving this app. Like, I cannot keep doing this with y'all anymore. Y'all. Shit, it's not my fault Leo's fall in love hard, fall in love fast. Leo does everything fucking fast because that's just the Leo side, side in fucking Leo's. I'm a fucking Leo. I can't fucking help that shit. I love how she's bringing astrological signs into this one. Uh, real talk, she's a Leo, okay? So, Leos are apparently known for generosity of time, energy, respect, and money. However... Here's the thing. She has scammed people before. And she comes on these TikTok lives begging for money. So where is the Leo's generosity then? All she's talking is, Oh, Leo's fall in love fast. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I can't help it. I'm a Leo. But if if you wanted to bring astrology into this and the zodiac signs, you would think that you would do more than just one trait that I'm sure... Many people do more than Leo's, all right? Like, I'm a Cancer. You don't see me crying every single day about, oh, I'm so sensitive. I'm not like the other girls. I'm so different. No, because it's not real. I mean, it could very well be real, but so many people have those traits. It's hard to determine what is accurate and what is not. 
it's so hard to do these whenever it's like TikTok videos because she has the music playing and I will 100% absolutely get my video taken down or demonetized. I'm not even monetized yet, but you know, this is the one that got away by Katy Perry and poor Leslie, poor girl out here. She is crying, absolutely sobbing over this and her breakup with Logan, who, as we said before, she was not actually dating. He was just doing it for the lols. And fortunately for everyone here, I can't take much more of this, so we're gonna cut it here for this clip. I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time, and I finally got you. So we're gonna talk about this. Alright, go ahead. I'll think about it. Put that tongue away. You always say you fucking think about it, but you, I'm still waiting on the fucking answer to this goddamn day, you dumbass. Okay, okay, my bad. Go ahead. I've been waiting on the fucking answer to this Hey, 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 Tiger, too. Tiger. Cool it. Alright. Ah, yes, the good old days of waiting for an answer to figure out if you should move on or not. You know, most people with at least a little bit of common sense would have realized, hey, this guy's leading me on. I'm going to not talk to him anymore because that's wrong and not nice to me. But Miss Leslie out here, she's holding out hope that this guy is for real, that he's actually gonna, you know, make a move, say that they're gonna be together, even though, very clearly, it is not going to happen. Alright, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. But what's the point of telling you you love me and you fucking miss me and shit? And shit like that. And you, and you, and you say you want me back, but then you said, okay, then, then I say, okay, fine, whatever, you, you can have me back. But then it's like, oh, I'll sleep on it. Bitch, I'm still waiting on a fucking week. Uh, uh, two weeks now for a fucking answer. No. I haven't slept yet. That's a damn lie. How you know? How you know? You tell me bye in the fucking morning, you'll give me a fucking answer. You still have an answer. No, I said I'll sleep on it. I'm tired. I haven't slept yet. You know what I mean? That's not my fucking problem. It sounds like it is. Yeah, it does. No, it's not. Then why are you freaking out about it? Because you won't give me a fucking answer. So it is your problem. Yeah, this very much is her problem. He is living in her head rent-free. She's stressing over this. This is probably the most attention she's got from anyone that's a man in years, honestly. Or maybe just not a child. Hmm. You know, that's that's some food for thought. Something to think on. Interesting. Why don't you just give me the answer so I can know it to move on or not? I thought you already moved on. No. I haven't. I've been oh, sitting here shit. fucking waiting on your ass. Yeah, there is no chance she moved on. We saw the TikTok video she was making. We saw the tears streaming down her face over this. She is constantly thinking about you, Logan, buddy. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but that's hilarious, even though it is incredibly cruel and wrong to do, because she is probably most likely developmentally delayed. And, you know, messing with people that are slow, so to speak. It's inhumane, in a sense. But doing that to anyone isn't really fair to them. No matter how funny it is, no matter what you want to say, it, it's not cool to do. Even though she is a lol cow and everyone's getting a good laugh out of this and she's profiting from it, it's not right to do. It doesn't seem like it. Exactly. What the fuck? What about uh, that, that girl from Georgia? Mm -hmm. What's up with that? We heard just friends. Oh, right, what about yeah. The now thing? you say that. Going to Arkansas. Me and Jaden don't talk anymore. Okay. But you weren't waiting on me. You like Jaden? Me and Jaden were, were only friends. Jaden had a whole ass fucking boyfriend. Leslie? Logan? <laughs> Why do you hate me? You cheated on me. Oh, I did. Yes, you did. Logan, you oh, cheated? I did. Yeah, no. Blah head girl. Some blonde headed chick. What? That's some blonde headed chick. I don't even know who that is. That's like half the population. Logan. These are false, false accusations. So, not necessarily false allegations, but. We all know that Logan was doing this for shits and gigs, honestly. 
you can go in i know people aren't using reddit right now but the one reddit group where i get all of this information from and all these clips is the leslie clark snark group on reddit and honestly there's so much there just about logan alone and his ventures with leslie so honestly if, if you're one of the people who's okay with going on reddit right now take a look be my guest it's all hilarious and it's all there but i do think it's justified that leslie is upset with him after you know he led her on for i guess a whole day you know even though it was funny and it is funny to watch now everything unraveling it's still not nice to do shame on you leslie you deserve better do you hear me yeah that's why I left him a long time ago. Leslie, babe, you can't say you left someone a long time ago when they are living in your head rent-free 24-7 and you're not moving on past them. You didn't leave him a long time ago. Sure, you might not have been talking, but he's been on your mind. And that's okay, that happens to the best of us. But still, you did not leave him a long time ago. He did not leave you a long time ago. You had a 24-hour uh, relationship. I know you can't see the air quotes. I'm recording from my bedroom instead of my studio. But <sighs> overall, this is not how most people go about having relationships or ending them. That's just in my experience, though. I'm sure there's a lot of people who break up with someone and then they can't get them off their mind for a while. But every relationship I've ever ended... I just blocked them and then they never crossed my mind again. Alright, cool. Glad we discussed that. These Florida bitches. Sorry, females. These Florida uh, women. Uh, then try it. Try Hey, look at me. Yes, try a Louisiana girl. You would never, <laughs> ever go. You would never I leave her. I knew that was coming. I knew. You would coming. never fucking leave her. Man, these fucking Florida females. Mm. I love Leslie's desperation, honestly. Uh, there was a time where she claimed to be a transgender male. And honestly, I think it is very funny how she will shoot her shot with anything that moves or breathes or is a person. Age doesn't matter to her. She will shoot her shot if you exist. And it's as simple as that, which is hilarious to me, but also... Ugh. It gives me icky, bad feelings. Like Tatum said, mm -mm, they got to go, bro. Because one minute they lesbian, the next minute they fucking your best friend, that's a guy. So, uh. All right, so typically we call that being bisexual. But, you know, to each their own, I will let you live this one out. I have no idea who this person on the bottom is, but, you know, you can have your win. Don't worry, you can have this one. So get with me and you would never have to worry about any any bad shit happening. Just associating with Leslie would cause bad things to happen. Make no mistake. Leslie, I, I can't. Period. I can't, I can't do long distance. I'm I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I ain't going to be like everybody else and like bullshit you. I can't. I can't. Bro, I, can't I would move it. out there if I have to. I cannot do it. I would I would go insane. I'd... I would move out there if I have to. I gotta touch the pee hole, Leslie. I gotta touch it. You heard me? I heard you, Leslie. I don't move out there if I have to. <laughs> don't do it, Leslie. Don't don't change for nobody. Just keep doing you. And, you know, be be the best you, Leslie. You know what I mean? But if I'm being dead, I'm 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 gonna move move out there. Online relationships don't typically work out to begin with, but. That said, it is bizarre that she, Leslie, is saying that she would move out just to be with this person. It, I just wonder with what money, because there have been instances of her begging for cash app donations on her live streams, claiming that she has no money for food in the house, no money for anything, really. And it's just baffling to know that she's like, yes, I will move out just to be with you so that we don't have an online relationship. I don't think Leslie is processing that this person on the bottom is not interested. I know, Leslie. I know, but I'm toxic. I'm toxic. I am, too. 
I don't, I don't even want to be with me. Like, like if I was to see me as a person, I, I wouldn't be with me either. Shit. I'm cute. To be honest with you, I don't know why people want to be with me when I'm like toxic as fuck. You know what? At least she's self aware at this point. She recognizes that she's toxic and that people really don't want to be with her. It, I know it's just for the funnies and the hahas, but there's a lot of people who get into a uh, relationship with her, so to speak. And they're only doing it either for clout or to terrorize her and give us more content, which it's not very nice to do, I understand. But still, it's funny, as I've said a thousand times before, this 15-minute mark, well, almost 16 minutes, actually. But, you know, she's becoming self-aware, so that's good. I will make... I I can't I can't do long distance. I did, I've done long distance like I had a girlfriend who was here and then like she moved to Tampa. I'm not going to say my city, but um she was in my city and then she moved to Tampa and um, I didn't I didn't do it real good. I mean, I even I even went and visited her all the damn time and I was, I was still a dog. But I was younger. I was younger. See, younger me, younger me was a dog. I was a fucking dog. That's that's why my karma is catching up to me now. That's why I can't get no female uh, that is uh, faithful now because I was such a dog back then. So now my dog days are catching up with me and everybody's a dog to me. All right. This person on the bottom is also self-aware in a different way. She's not probably a lol cow. I've never seen this person before in my life. This is the first video I've ever seen with this person in it. But it's good to be aware that, you know, you treated other partners in the past poorly, and now at this point, you feel like you're going to get the same energy back that you had put out into the world. It's always good to be self-aware in that regard. Always good to live by, treat others how you want to be treated, and very important to understand not everyone is going to give you the treatment that you desire. So... I'm glad that Sis on the Bottom is figuring out her struggles and making do with the situation. Good on her. Leslie. Leslie. What up, boo? What's wrong? Leslie. What's going on, boo? Talk to me. I love me. I love me. You look really upset right now. I don't want you upset, Leslie. You gonna ignore me? Leslie, come on, girl. What's going on? I don't know if any of you ever do this, but when you get on FaceTime with your friends and you're talking about something and then that conversation ends and then you just sit there quietly with each other still on the phone, that's what this is giving me. That is exactly what is happening here. Besides that, this is a very childish way of handling your emotions when you're upset. What Leslie is doing right now, just shutting down and not talking about why she's upset. This other girl is asking her, like, hey, what's wrong, dude? And Leslie will not say a word. You know, she could probably have dealt with this a little bit better, but you know what? It's Leslie. Need I say more? It's Leslie. Logan says, easy, tiger. Leslie says, but daddy, whoa. People are way too comfortable on this app. Like, way too comfortable. Sage, you have done a lot of fucked up shit towards me. You manipulated me, gaslit me, you fucked me over so many times. I just wish I can go back in time to where I never met you, because you dragged my name through the fucking ground, you verbally abused me, and then you want to play with my feelings by leaving, coming back, apologizing, want to become friends, and then out of nowhere just leave again. 
I just wish I had a warning about who you are before we even met, because you're not a man. You're nothing but a little ass man. (laughs) I tried to help you. I tried to be your friend. I tried to be there for you. But the thanks I get was you tearing me like a POS. By you doing all this shit to me, you're nothing but a low-life piece of shit, and I hope everybody realize how bad of a person you are and never give you a chance. I'm fucking done with you completely. So I'm sure there's going to be some confusion with this one. Sage is a transgender person, female to male, and the song choice... uh, The song choice was bad, and one of the things she said in this was bad. (laughs) She said, you're not a real man, you're nothing but a little ass man. It kind of felt like she wanted to say you're not a man and you never will be, but realized that she would get screamed out online for doing that and the song also says you're not a real man so i just thought that was funny and something that i should point out but i love that she's out here posting her personal business online for everyone to see because it means people like us get to experience this together it's like a bonding moment for us like who wouldn't want to sit here and gather all of the tea on someone's life when it doesn't concern either one of us at all, and it has no effect on our life. It's a, it's an interesting feeling. Yes, I understand. But you know what? I'll take that over being part of the drama any day. All right, new person, August, not Logan. August keeps swiping up on Snapchat stories of Leslie's, saying things like, sexy, now can I hit you up? LOL. And my personal favorite, give me a chance. I'll treat you better. I even live in the same state as you. We could literally make this work. Sad face. I know I'm probably not your type, but I hate seeing you always upset over these dudes when there are guys like me who actually want to be with you and treat you the way you're supposed to be treated. You talk to boys. I'm a grown man. I have my own business and my own home. Give me a chance, beautiful. Thank you, August. Very cool. But this definitely circles back to the first video that I did where she admitted to going out with a minor and having crushes on children and flirting with them and hitting on them and all that. When I said there's probably grown adult men around her age that are interested in her, this is what I'm referring to. There's always somebody that is, you know, looking for whatever type of person you may be Even if you're not expecting them, or you're not actively seeking them out, they exist, and I guarantee it. Like, even he acknowledges that she talks to boys, and not grown men. So, red flag there, but, you know, I'll give him credit where credit is due. He is trying, he's shooting his shot. You know, if there's a hole, there's a goal. Simple as that. But still, I feel like Leslie needs to take a step back. You know, take a step back from whatever she's doing right now. And acknowledge that there are adults that are interested in her and she doesn't need to prey on children, which I know probably won't change anything. She's probably just going to keep doing it. But there are adults that will give her the time of day that she doesn't need to manipulate into liking her. Mm. The reason why I've been mourning this relationship longer than all the other ones is because... I really thought you was the one. I know I say that about about all of them, about all the other ones, but he was different. He was nicer, sweeter, caring. But it was all a facade. Unfortunately, Leslie, for you, he he was kind of doing this in a malicious way. He wasn't really looking out for your best interest, our sweet little friend here. It was for clout to get more content, any of those things. So while yes, he might have put on the front of being kind and being sweet and caring, it it wasn't genuine. Better than all of us. He was always there. There for me more than all the other ones were. 
Smart, funny, cute. Yeah. Cute. He was always there. He's so cute. He's always there for me when I needed him. He was a great person to talk to. He treated me with respect. He was. He didn't treat me so badly as he like all the other ones did. He loved me for me. And I'm the one that fucked it up. I wish I didn't fuck it up. Look, I know people are going to disagree with me for having some empathy for poor Leslie here because she clearly thought this was like a real solid relationship. It was different than all the other ones. It was great. But it's never fun to see somebody mourning a relationship that really was never there. It's kind of sad, kind of unfortunate. And I do feel bad for picking apart this clip in particular because you can see that she's on the brink of tears. She's upset over it. I just, I'm glad she's aware that she is constantly a problem in a relationship. She says she fucked it up. She probably did something that I don't know about, but in all of her other relationships, she's been really demanding, needy, and forceful, and aggressive with them. And yeah, that really puts a stress on relationships where there doesn't need to be stress involved. But still, this is... A very sad clip to watch and I do kind of feel bad for her but that's just me personally you can you can laugh at her all you want for this one I won't be laughing in this clip too much because it is an unfortunate thing for her to have gone through but I said he was the one that let it stick on the way Thank you, if you see this, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Continuing through her relationship thing, um, she hit on this guy and I believe went out with him. Uh, in one of his posts it says he's 16, so I'm not quite sure why he put the I'm 19 years old in the bio there, but I believe he was one of the longtime players in the Reddit where he was you know, trying his best to get some type of reaction, some type of proof that Leslie was doing something wrong. And he was one of the many, 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 many failed relationships that she has had. And just, you know, another one with a potential child. Like I said, in one of his clips, he did say he was 16. Again, not sure about the 19 versus 16 thing. So take that as you will. I just want to say thank you because you got a point. You really do got a point. Because it is their own fault. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because you do got a point there, honey. And I really appreciate it. So the situation behind this video is she asked... $30 for gas money from somebody. They gave her the $30 and now that person wants their $30 back seeing as she's been doing good on TikTok lives, getting her little sunglasses, hat, all those good things. Um, but she doesn't feel obligated to pay it back and she thinks that this person has a good point that she should not need to pay it back. And also I believe this is her era last year where she said she was a transgender man so that's where the short hair is coming from here with lettuce i'm like bro the cops ain't gonna find any, any anything to deal with the devil's lettuce because i'm two months clean i quit smoking in january all right cool last clip was taken very recently this clip is from february the middle of february mind you what's rule number one Party? No, not party. No, it's not party. And another good one taken from closer to the end of February on the 21st. Okay, TikTok, what is my biggest addiction? Oh, I just killed my ex. Not that. Yeah. It is. Mom's gonna take us right to the apartment. We're gonna walk right now. Yeah. 
All right, yet again, another one, February 21st. And she said she was two months clean in March, I believe. So we we know that's not accurate. If anything, she was probably like a couple weeks clean. And that's just how it is. It's kind of funny that she is like, yeah, weed is my addiction. But then she goes and flips the script and says, no, I am multiple months clean. I haven't touched it. And the the police aren't going to do anything about it because there's no evidence of me doing that. It's funny because marijuana can stay in your system for a long time. Especially in like hair follicles. That's like something you could do for a drug test. Yeah, they do the instant oral swab or pee test usually. But they can definitely take a hair follicle and be like, hmm, that's not right. You're not supposed to have that in your system. But, you know, she she doesn't really have a job. She allegedly worked at the Taco Bell for a while, which I kind of understand and believe is true because there was one video of her in her uniform at the Taco Bell making a TikTok video. But I feel like we really don't need to see that because what she does as a career is not, you know, the the target of this video. And here's just another video from February. Well, it's a picture here, but it was posted to her Instagram as a video of her smoking marijuana. I can't use the actual music that she put in here because I will get a copyright strike and I don't want any of those. They seem not pleasant to have, but this is Leslie unboxing her bisexual pride flag woo you know i'm gonna be honest here it was expected to say the least but at the same time i think it's very funny because she has been known to call people the gay f slur and be incredibly homophobic and transphobic in her comment section in her lives anywhere she goes she is known for those things as well as racism and being a pedophile So, everything is just alleged, but she definitely uses a lot of derogatory language in her day-to-day life. But, you know what? Good for you, Leslie. I'm glad you got your bisexual pride flag. (laughs) Well, ladies and gentlemen, and whoever else may be here watching my videos, I apologize that the quality of this one is down and the last video, the quality was up. I unfortunately do not have a car to get to the studio right now. So this is being recorded from my bed, in my bedroom, on a laptop. So I understand, not the greatest, but we're making do with the situation, and since this video is now 33 minutes long, I'm gonna just cut it here and say thank you for watching my stuff, and I hope you have a nice day if you're having daytime, or a nice night if it's bedtime. Alright, thank you everyone, I'll see you next time.